the biblical truth of our hymns. Today, hallelujah, what a Savior. Now about Philip Paul Bliss, let's look at some interesting facts about him. As his name will come up quite often. Born July 9th, 1838 in Pennsylvania. He died December 29th, 1876 in Ohio. His father, Mr. Isaac Bliss, a dedicated Christian man, and was a man that had daily family prayers. So it works. At the age of 12 in 1850, first public confession of Christ, then joined the Baptist Church of Cherry Flats, Pennsylvania. About his death, five minutes after the train fell and broke out on the train wreck, with winds that did not help, the wooden coaches, the, the train uh, cars were ablaze. Mr. Bliss succeeded in getting himself out and crawling safely through a window. Finding his wife was still pinned in the seats of the cars, he returned to the car and bravely remained at her side. Trying to extract her from the flames took their toll. All what remained from this train accident was charred mass of mess, ashes, rubble. There were no traces of the bodies ever to be discovered. Out of 160 passengers, which there were no lists, no passenger lists, there were only 14 survivors. And Mr. and Mrs. Bliss were not of them. And conducting a service of 800 inmates of the Michigan State Prison, in a genuine repentance, not just say this prayer, many of them wept as he spoke of the love of God and sang, Hallelujah, what a Savior. Today's him. In a prison house, in a prison jail, locked up for crimes, for guilt, being guilty, professing their guiltiness to God. They are able to receive the pardon of God. Man of sorrows, Isaiah 53. What a name. There's no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. There's just so much scripture loaded here. For the Son of God, the Son of God, man of sorrows, what a name, who came ruined sinner. That's what I am. That's what I was before I was saved. I was ruined. I was in ruins. I was a mess. I was destroyed, decapitated. Ruins, it's just, you know, you go to an area, it's no more thriving. I had never thrived from birth in sin. Ruined sinners to reclaim, to reconcile back to God. The only reconciliation, the only meditation, the only way that God would see back to a sinner, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a Savior. That was interesting. Man of sorrows, what a name for the Son of God who came. Forgive me. Ruin sinners to reclaim. Hallelujah. What a Savior. You know that's an exclamation point. Hallelujah. What a Savior. Big difference. Um, I got the, now, I don't want to sing. Bearing shame. They spit it upon him. He had the creation spit that he made in Genesis 2. Dripping off his beard, dripping off his body. Poof, here you go, Jesus. 
having a shroud over his head as they punch him and mock him, say, come on, Jesus, who tell us who did that one. Naked on the cross. The bear all shame. Scoffing rude, people just mocking him. His creation, his priest that he set up through Moses, throughout the book of Exodus and the book of Leviticus, that he set up these priests. And they're mocking. Come on, let's see if Eli will come. Come on, if he believed in God, then let God take him off the cross. In my place, condemn he stood. Philip can say that. I can sing that. And an unsaved man in a church service can sing that too. He's just not saved yet, but he can sing. Sealed my pardon. That's an interesting. We read that this hymn was sung in a prison. A pardon can only be obtained if you are guilty. Did you commit this crime? No, no, it was somebody else. I've been framed and they're against me and my religion. They're against me and my race, against me and my sex and... So you didn't do that crime. No, you can't get the pardon. Are you a sinner? No, I'm not a sinner. I'm a good person. Then you can't get the pardon. The difference between a lost man saying, in my place condemned he stood. The next thing is he must announce to God that he is the sinner. If he's not a sinner, there is no pardon. Pardon means I'm guilty. With his blood, no baptism, no church denomination, no religion, no works, no nothing but the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! What a Savior! Guilty, vile, and helpless. We Look at me, I'm Mr. Strong. Oh, I'm an American. I right, look at me, we're number one. And get yourself a flu virus. Get yourself a little virus up with the common cold. Get attacked with a little uh, a plant. Um, I can't even call it. Pollen. Get those little particles in your body and see how mighty and strong you are. I can play with a ball and I can do sports great and then ruin your knee. Ruin your arm. Guilty, vile, and helpless and I need a pardon. Because I'm guilty. Guilty, vile, and helpless is not Jesus Christ. It's us. And again, imagine this hymn being sung by a bunch of men who are in prison for guilt. Of their crimes. Spotless Lamb of God was he. Behold the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Now look at me. I'm guilty. I'm vile. I'm helpless. Look at God. Spotless. Sinless Lamb. Innocent of God. And yet that Lamb of God was the man of sorrow. Yet that Lamb of God was bearing shame. Yet that Lamb of God met scoffers. Scorners. Excuse me. Scoffing. And scorners. Yet that spotless lamb, that sinless lamb, stood condemned. Though he was sinless, who knew no sin, and yet suffered for our sins. Full atonement. By me believing on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Coming out of the Catholic religion, I did. If I were to die right now, the Bible, the Bible says to be absent from the body and present with the Lord. Well, doesn't your wife, doesn't she have to pay the priest to pray for you? No. Would not your children have to go buy a candle? No. You mean you would have to have your pastor give you last right? No. You have to make sure that you work? No. 
full 100% atonement by God the blood. Can it be? Yes. Amen. Can it be? Hallelujah. What a Savior. Full atonement. Can it be? Hallelujah. What a Savior. Hallelujah. What a Savior. Big difference. Big difference. Big difference. Lifted up upon the cross was he to die. It is finished was his cry. It's done. The full atonement was God on the cross saying, it is finished. Don't we have to have a prayer missile? No, nope, it is finished. Don't I have to have the mass? No, it is finished. Don't I have to have baptism? No, it is finished. It is finished. The ingredients of the full salvation is God manifest in the flesh. God who's Jesus and Jesus is, is God shed his blood upon Calvary's cross. He died according to the scriptures. That's the ingredients. 100% natural God in salvation. You add religion, you added Satan. Salvation that would not work is Calvary and Satan and religion and water and works and whatever you would have to add that is not finished that is unfulfilled that is chemicals that is byproducts that's that red dye number five it is not good it's not going to preserve you the only preservance we have is atonement that is full by the lamb of god which purchased our sins upon calvary's tree by god's blood acts 20 28 nothing else Nothing else, nothing else, anything else is not going to preserve you with full atonement. Nothing else. You got an ingredient list of religion as artificial preservatives. And that's not God. God's not artificial. It is finished was his cry. Now in heaven exalted high. There were men and women in the Bible who were resurrected. Yes, Lazarus, but he died. The son of, of, the, of the widow woman of Nain, he died. The son of the, of the woman that Elijah said, thou shalt have a child, and he one day, he goes, oh, my head, my head, and he died. He was, he was risen. But they died. Christ died according to the scriptures. He was buried. He arose again the third day according to the scriptures. He's going to die no more. Don't you dare nail him back to that cross and put it between your boobies. Don't you dare put him back on that cross and put him above the head of the priest. That cross is empty. That cross is gone. But Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father. Oh, my priest. Yeah, when he dies, he'll stay in the ground. Oh, my pastor. Yeah, when he dies, he'll stay in the ground. Unto judgment. Hallelujah. What a Savior. When he comes, second advent, glorious King, King of King, Lord of Lords, second advent, all his ransom home to bring. Then a new song, this, then a new, this song we sing. The Jews will have a brand new song when Jesus Christ comes back for them the second time. The Messiah. After seven years of tribulation, three and a half years of great tribulation, three and a half years of tribulation, three and a half years of great tribulation with the Antichrist, with the main objectives of him to kill those Jews and those that will not receive the mark. Jesus mounts up on a horse, calls out his bride and says, come, let's go get them. Let's go rescue them. Hallelujah. What a Savior. Better not be put this one out. You better not leave this one out of your, your hymnal. Question. When was the last time your church sang this hymn? Maybe the next time you sing it, such wonderful words. Think about men being in prison and trusting the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior. Remember, hallelujah. What a Savior. Not, 
Exclamation point. Well, uh, I bet you if you won a sweet stage, you'd shout and hour. Bet you if your child came home with great grades, you'd shout and hour. Can't shout and hour for the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> 